Hello and welcome guys to another tutorial. My name is Shaz and today we are going to review the new changes, new new updates in iTheme security for WordPress. Alright, so let's get into it. This is our familiar old version where we can navigate through these boxes, these blocks to enable or disable options. But now they have a new version updated and it looks like this. It's the default dashboard and one important thing if you are just updating old plugin to new one there is no need to do anything all the changes all the settings are saved and you just have to update and use it and the other one is once you install a fresh version and since it's for new users so we will go through each and uh, every option to see how to configure it to match our old version okay so i will go ahead to plugins and i'm going to update my older version to new one scrolling down right there is it this is a new version there is a new version of iTheme security available and i'll hit update it will take a while to do so once done okay and if i go to security as you can see it's completely changed everything is new the logout the side check the utilities but since uh it's it's getting settings from my old plugin uh, i don't have to do anything at all but now let's say i install this on a fresh website first time and it contains no settings or fetching no information from the database at all so let's configure it quickly i'll go to settings and two factor if uh, you want to enable this option it's basically like once you log in with admin credential it sends you an email to confirm and if you want that it's for high security i personally don't use that so i'll just leave it as it is lockouts okay i need to enable all these options i'll enable this go to settings and default ban list enable ban list and i'm doing nothing right it's there it's done i go back to global settings and lockouts and features right so lockouts ban users is done now network brute force i will enable it and select settings api key is given to me but if you are uh, like if, if for some reason you don't see that you just have to reset api key type in your email address and it will give you new api key okay i click save i go back to features lockouts and local brute force i have to enable this option and automatically ban admin user if it's unchecked you need to check it and then maximum login attempts per host three three and five and hit save go back to features lockouts all three options enabled side check file change warning i don't use that it basically sends you an alert in email if something gets updated either by a system update or someone is trying to do some uh, something suspicious so if you want to enable this option to get notified you can and then you go to utilities enforce ssl of course i am having an ssl so i need to use that and then database backups i enable this option and in these settings i can see the interval schedule database backup backup interval 3 so every third day i will receive backup of my uh, whole database for this website and then backup methods save locally save locally and email email only save locally means it will host uh, it will store a file on your current web host compress backup files it will send you an uh, a zip file which is good thing let's say if your database is 50 mb the compressed version will be like 5 to 6 mb 
so it's good to enable this go back to features site utilities i enabled ssl i enabled my database backup security check pro okay just need to enable it and do nothing else All right after this user groups i don't have to do anything here everything is good by default configure settings write to files we need to enable this and ban user offender if these fields are unchecked you just need to check them and also authorize host enable this option what it does whenever an administrator user access the website i think security will prevent locking out that computer for 24 hours right so it does what it says just enable it and hit save after that go back to logouts default ban list yes enable ban list enable this hit save local brute force c35 looks good network brute force okay the same things which we did here so it's giving us another way to to look at them and after that right lockouts done utilities utilities same as as we saw here see backup intervals notifications if you uh, want to notify more than administrator roles you can enable or disable this option right so now we will see where our old options are we just have to scroll down all the way down go to tools see identify server ips change user id change database table prefix change file perm permission change configuration rules wp config rule change salt keys so salt keys we will run once we are done hiding our backend that we will do now so i click tools these are the options now i will go to advanced settings file access i need to protect system files i need to disable directory browsing i need to disable php uploads in php in uploads in plugins and in themes and hit save wordpress tweaks i have to disable file editor so file editor is basically if you don't want to edit themes or plugins from front end from appearance theme editor here if you want to completely disable this option just disable from here and you can do so like if you must do, do some changes in cores in files you can simply do that using ftp or your file manager within hosting and then it's okay so i disable the file editor then api access i have to disable this as well and then restricted access okay and Good to save go to hide backend i personally use this feature because as you know by default it's uh, your website.com slash wp admin right so uh, wp dash admin or wp dash login it's not safe anyone can simply access that so it's it's a good practice to hide that by whatever you want i like to use slash store login and if anyone tries to access any page other than that to login that person will get 404 error page not found and hit save about salt keys we get back to tools we go to change wordpress salts we run it it's done and we simply click dashboard or even if you don't it will automatically pop up for uh, asking you to log in this is it it's done so this is how you do it in iTheme security latest version thank you guys and i will see you next